Darfur in a nutshell. In 2001, President al-Bashir implemented a plan to destroy the Fur, Masali, and Zagawa, who are a majority in the Darfur region on the basis of their ethnicity. His motives were largely political. His pretext was a counterinsurgency. His intent was genocide, as stated by the ICC prosecutor. To understand this genocide, we must look back at the history and root cause. In 1956, Sudan became an independent country from Britain, the departing colonial power. The Northern Arabs elite inherited the ruling power from the British and continued to isolate and marginalize the indigenous people of Darfur. The Northern ruling elites, representing about 5% of the country's population, centered the services and development in the capital Khartoum and other areas such as Port Sudan while intentionally depriving the rest of the society, which is made up of ethnically indigenous African tribes. Based on the policy of the ruling elite, in Sudan, being an Arab is regarded as an advantage, while being an indigenous African Sudanese is associated with inferiority. This ideology has been used to divide the Sudanese society for more than 60 years. Al-Bashir has used this ideology to target and exterminate the people of Darfur because of who they are. His strategy consists of mobilizing, training, and arming the militia, also known as the Janjaweed, to carry out attacks. Typically, the Sudanese armed forces arrived in trucks mounted with machine guns, and the Janjaweed arrived in camel and horseback. Together, they surrounded the village, and on occasion, the Air Force would drop bombs on the village as a precursor to the attacks. The ground forces enter the village and attack civilians, killing men, children, the elderly, and subjecting women and girls to massive rapes. Kill all the blacks and kill all the slaves were slogans reportedly heard in Janjaweed militia's campaign against the African population in Darfur. The villagers are then forced out of their village and have to go into displaced camps where women are continuously subjected to mass rapes and attacks. Historically, Darfur has been a matriarchal society where women held a unique place in society. This is why rape has been used as a weapon of war to destroy the fabric of Darfur society. As a result, over 4.7 million people have been affected. Over 3 million have been living in camps for more than a decade. In 2006, the UN estimated that over 300,000 people have been killed, but the number has increased in the past 10 years to nearly a million without proper documentation. In 2004, the US declared the situation in Darfur an ongoing genocide. In 2009, the International Criminal Court issued two arrest warrants for al-Bashir, which included 10 counts of war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide. But he has yet to be arrested for his crimes. In 2016, a new surge of violence has begun. The government of Sudan has recently declared a plan to end displacement in 2017, which means exterminating even those who are helpless within the internally displaced camps in Darfur. Al-Bashir has succeeded in isolating Darfur from the outside world to block information, and there is very limited media coverage about Darfur. This is a dangerous move, which represents the final stages of the Darfur genocide. Darfur needs our collective effort. You can help end the crisis and restore dignity for the people of Darfur. Visit www.darfurwomenaction.org to learn how you can help fight for peace and justice in Darfur.